Hello, we're going to talk about the new Charlie XCX EP, Focus slash No Angel. Now, quickly, the title of this comes from the fact that there are two songs on this EP, Focus and No Angel. So, quick bit of background on Charlie XCX. She has been around now for quite a while. Charlie XCX came to everyone's attention, really, in 2012 with her feature and songwriting credit on I Love It by Icona Pop. She followed it up with a mixtape that was largely ignored. She returned in 2014, another feature, and this was on Iggy Azalea's Fancy. Fancy was a big hit in America. It reached number one on those charts. It reached number six in the UK. And again, Charlie performed the hook, which was arguably the best part of the song. And she had a songwriting credit on the song. And it really built up anticipation for her debut studio album, Sucker. This also came out at the end of 2014. And it had hits like Boom Clap, Doing It featuring Rita Ora, and Break the Rules. Sucker was a good album. This was showcasing Charlie's talent for writing pop songs in different kinds of styles, in original ways. And this is something we've seen throughout her career. I've been following her career since this point in 2014. I even went back all the way into her discography to listen to her first album, which was released when Charlie was a 14-year-old girl at school. She took her stage name, Charlie XCX, from her MSN messenger name. And that 14 album was weird. I didn't like it. It was... Charlie herself says it's shitty MySpace music, and I completely agree with her. It sounds like I'm reading a 14-year-old's diary, and it just felt really weird for me, like 25 at the time probably, just listening to her thoughts about who she fancies at school and people she hates. It was weird. Since her 2014 breakout, Charlie XCX has sort of been avoiding the big pop smashes that had been defining her career at this point, and she moved away from the limelight to develop her sound more and make more sort of experimental pop directions and take her sound in a more experimental pop direction. She's released a string of mixtapes in this point and some of them have been decent. Last year, she released two mixtapes, Number One Angel and Pop Two. Both of these mixtapes really showcase the sort of the range that she's stretching herself to now and Charlie is moving in these projects to a very sort of there's a lot of influences from a lot of different places here there's a lot of hip-hop influence there's really really thick auto-tune on a lot of the vocals on pop 2 something which I think made the project not as good as it could have been but there was also a lot of R&B and there was even some industrial elements and the area that we're really seeing Charlie XCX move into is electro pop. In 2018 we've seen Charlie XCX back featured on big pop songs. Girls by BB Rexa, Cardi B and Rita Ora. Girls peaked at number 22 in the UK. Charlie was also featured on Dirty Sexy Money along with David Guetta and French Montana. I really enjoyed this song, but it also peaked quite low on the charts at number 35. This new EP, Focus, No Angel, is really, really good. This is, this feels like a culmination of the experimentation we've seen from Charlie's solo work in these past four years since her last studio album. Focus is the first song on the EP. It's a really nice electro dance pop track. Charlie's got a nice amount of auto-tune on her vocals. She doesn't take it too far in the direction of that we saw on Pop 2 at points. It just makes her voice a bit higher, a bit more electro, and it fits in with the inst instrumental here. And this is a nice, bouncy piece of pop, really catchy. The hook is really, really re repetitive. It feels like those sort of New Orleans bounce songs we're hearing at the moment, where everyone's just repeating, 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 repeating as a refrain in pop at the moment, and... It feels like that's a part of this composition as well. The repetitive hook on Focus and the robotic feel on Charlie's voice makes her sound like some sort of like Fembot. And that is a theme in some of her earlier songs. She did have a song called Fembot. Fembot was one of the better songs on the Pop 2 mixtape, where Charlie basically talks about being like a Fembot and 
being there for your pleasure. No Angel is easily one of the best songs in the Charlie XCX discography. It's got a really nice spacey production with quite hard hitting drums. The instrumental is quite sparse. It's got a really heavy bass line and drums that are quite, they give it quite a sparse feel and just lets Charlie's vocals do the work in between the spaces there. And she does what she does best, talking about being a bad girl, that she loves fucking sex and taking loads of drugs and just staying out late. And it's just like her defiant anthem and it's one of her better songs, easily. I love how the auto-tune reaches an even higher pitch during the chorus and it really gives a lot of texture to Charlie's voice and just makes it feel like a really passionate plea that she is no angel and you're not going to fucking change her at all. And it's just what I love about Charlie XCX, just defiant, boundary changing pop and she's moving in this direction that I'm really excited by. I feel like a new album from her, which is a long time coming now, it's been four years since the last one, we've had these experimental projects in the interim, I feel like a new album is needed. She's released about four singles in the past two or three months and I feel like this is the precursor to the third studio album. I just hope that it's not going to be one of those cases where we've heard all the songs on the album already released as singles. I hope there's some new material on there and I'm really excited for this one. I feel like it's a great EP, Focus slash No Angel, great EP, really worth a listen, only two songs long. Both excellent, boundary-changing pop. And we'll see where Charlie goes next with this.